Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. Hashtag Christmas. Yes, I've got a Christmas hat on. I wouldn't normally wear leopard print like this, but, but Rob, in his wisdom, told me to take this one off because the white would match blend with the background. So I'm, I'm therefore wearing a, a, a leopard print Christmas Santa hat. Um, right, if you're anything like me, you've not even thought about Christmas yet and you're gonna do all your shopping later and, and yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. We've got bags of time. However, from a business point of view, you probably do want to start thinking about Christmas. You need to think about your Christmas stock and your New Year stock and get that in sooner rather than later. And I'm gonna tell you the reasons why in just a second, but before I do that, I want to tell you about what is happening right now. In production right now is our Christmas video. We did a Christmas video last year. You can see it right here. Um, click on that, have a look at it later. It was a bit of fun, but we did it really late. I think we only launched it on the 23rd of December, which was a shame because uh, I'd like to have got that out earlier. But it was it was really good fun. But of course, we've we've thought, well, we've better do another one this year, hadn't we? So we've been, last week, we, we did a bit of filming and now our um, super editor, Rob, he is editing that and getting that... Um, well, perfect, really, hopefully. So uh, you'll be able to see that next week. If you want to be the first to see that, uh, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Just go down below, hit subscribe, and you'll be notified of when we've put any videos out there. Also, for the 100th show, I think we're on 98 now, 99 next week, 100 is the week before Christmas, that we've got a very special guest. That's all I'm gonna say. It's somebody that you will be familiar with, and well, wow, it's just just an amazing words of wisdom. So uh, make sure you tune in again, subscribe, and you'll be the first to hear about that. Anyway, back to business and stock and Christmas. I've brought some Christmas stock up here. Um, not much. I've shown some of it in the last few weeks. These are some of the real the staples of Christmas. These these balloons go really, really well. Always have done uh, at Christmas. Got some new designs here, some Qualitex ones, some um, Amscan ones. I've uh, got the Amscan Orbs balloon. Um, yeah, and they're, they're really nice. We've got, they've got the paper chains there as well, you know, just for making a traditional paper chain. And the photo props. Now, I didn't show those a couple of weeks ago. I wish I had done. Um, but the photo props, we, we actually used those last, last year at home for our Christmas dinner. And uh, yeah, much hilarity. It was, it was good fun. So we've got those in stock now. Um, letter banner says Merry Christmas. Showed that a few weeks ago. And some New Year stock as well. So yeah, we've, we've got quite a lot still. However, the reason you should start thinking about it now is the manufacturers, some of the manufacturers are starting to tell us they're running out of certain lines. So certain designs have run out already. They're trying to run their stock down so they're not left with it as, as we all are. Um, so they're, they're actually out of some designs. We've still got some of those designs, but as we sell those, once they're gone, they, they just automatically go off the website. So if you head over to the website, balloonmarket.co.uk, hit the big fat banner, or you click it, don't you, on a, on a computer, or you tap it on your mobile phone. So head over, the big fat banner that says Christmas, New Year, and you can see what we've got in stock today. However, over the next coming days and couple of weeks, you're gonna see that getting smaller as we, we sell the stuff that we're not getting any more in. So um, to have the biggest choice, you probably want to go over there and have a look at that right now. And uh, you'll be able to choose whatever it is you want at the moment. We're still, we're still ordering with most of the manufacturers. We're still getting more in. Uh, so don't worry too much, but you are gonna see probably next week, you'll start to see that range shrinking down as everybody starts to, to get into the Christmas spirit. Now, the other reason that you probably want to think about getting things in sooner rather than later is DPD, FedEx, Royal Mail, all the other couriers, they're all really, really busy um, this time of year from Black Friday onwards, um, really busy. So you, you got to allow for extra time. No, I mean, they're normally really, really good. However, we unfortunately did have a blip last week, um, DPD, they, they, there were some of our parcels that didn't leave Southampton. Apparently the lorry that goes from Southampton up to wherever it goes to for them to be distributed elsewhere was full. And so they just left a whole bunch of stuff, including some of our parcels. So I'm really sorry if you were affected by that blip. Um, it doesn't happen very often at all. Um, but it's not just DPD. This week, FedEx, um, we were expecting 17 parcels. And we got seven 
So it happens to everybody and it is just literally sheer volume, temporary staff coming in, helping out, not knowing how things work. It's just a combination of that. So my recommendation is always if you order on a Thursday normally for delivery Friday, order on the Wednesday or the Tuesday or the Monday even. If you possibly can, just order as early as you possibly can. The same for Royal Mail. Royal Mail have told us that 21st of um, December, that's what they're saying, you can order first class, post first class and still be arriving for Christmas. The 20th for second class. I think they're a bit optimistic. I'd, I'd still go before then, the 19th or even the 16th Friday. So yeah, the message is really order as early as possible to avoid disappointment. And the other reason really to start thinking about ordering now, and this isn't just Christmas stock, this is all stock. Remember a few weeks ago, I said the manufacturers are getting in touch with us. They're saying, oh, we might have to put our prices up. Guess what? They've had to put their prices up because of the weakening pounds. So from January the 1st, most of the manufacturers are putting their stock up by 10%, their prices up by 10%. Um, and so we have, to, we have to do that as well. So if you want to save some money now, this year, if you've got the cash flow, um, get whatever you think you're going to need for the early part of next year now, because three weeks from now, you're going to really be paying 10% more for whatever it is you need. So they're the reasons really. Think about Christmas, think about stock that you're going to need at the early part of next year and get it now. It, it's the, the perfect time to do it. Obviously, if, if cash flows, if cash flow allows. Now, um, oh, opening times. So I better talk a bit about opening times. We are closing on the 23rd of December. We close at 12 o'clock. We're going for our Christmas lunch. I've ordered turkey, of course. And uh, we will be back on the 3rd of January business as usual from then. Um, we Our last dispatch day is the 22nd of December. So if you order Royal Mail, as I say, it's not unlikely to get there until between Christmas and New Year. It might get there the next day. You never know. DPD, Korea, we would be sending that um, on the 22nd, hopefully to get to you by the 23rd. There is a chance, as I say, that it might not. So please just order as far in advance as possible. Now, helium, helium, we have been told by BOC the 19th of December for the last date to order helium. To be honest, I think we might be able to sneak one or two more in after that. But the 19th is the date I've been told. Between Christmas and New Year, BOC, all the agents effectively closed down. Uh, with the exception of medical gases, they, they don't do any gas at all. So obviously medical gases, emergencies, things like that, they deal with. Um, but there's no business as usual between Christmas and New Year. Um, with the gas agents and the BOC agents, so yes, BOC, Helium, get it in by the 19th of December. Right, let's talk a little bit about this range over here. I had the Sparkling Celebration range last week from Amscan, the new one, and it's black, white, gold, and silver. And I said there was a pink one. The pink one is now in. For some reason, there's no 65 in the pink range. Don't really know why, um, but the rest of them are there. It goes from the generic happy birthday to the 100th balloon. I think these are going to be really, really popular in 2017. They're a bit different. They're sophisticated. They're sparkly, as you would have seen on last week's BMTV. Uh, I think they're just going to be a real success. So again, they, we're going to have to put the prices of these up on the 1st of January. So if you think you're going to need any birthday balloons that are quite sophisticated, have a look at those uh, right now. Just click on the new section on the website and they should be there, hopefully. Right. That's it for me. Question of the week. What did you have? for breakfast this morning. I don't know. Right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye. Look at what you're doing as a business and yeah. not as a hobby, because if you, if you treat it in a hobby, which is what I did for the first four years, oh, it doesn't really matter if I don't get work next weekend, or it doesn't really matter if I only charge this for it. It really does, because you're never going to run a business Absolutely. and you're, you're not going to make money. Christmas to start with. Got this little fella, sitting Santa. He's new this year. Um, obviously, the sitting elf was really popular a couple of years ago and last year. So he's still around. He's still sitting on the shelf. Hey, hey, elf on the shelf. Uh